What's up, Thrift Gang? Nabiar here from Good Game Grabs. Welcome back to another episode where we're going to show you some behind the scenes footage. Always exciting. Uh, I just wanted to mention before we hop into the, the Goodwill Bins footage, though, is that we stopped by the record store that's right by our house on the way home, and we've had some dealings there. We've had some good deals. We've had some bad deals, more good than bad, you know, but uh, we went in there and remembered that they actually take Blu-rays on trade for $2 a piece, which is typically more than we've gotten at V-Stock or Half Price Books. So I took a nice little stack in there and I was like, I'm gonna find a couple games that I can trade for that I know are worth money and maybe they're a little light on. So the first game I swooped up was Minecraft. Let's hold it the right way, Ray. Uh, but I got Minecraft. It uh, it it does uh, it does look a little sketchy on the disc, but not really that worried about it. Also, no manual. Also, not worried about that. In the past, I have not had any problem selling Minecraft games without the manual. People eat this stuff up. The sell through rate is pretty dang good on these, and this is about around a $15 bill. And this is the one that I was most happy about. This uh, this Dragon Ball Z is not the crazy expensive one for PS2. There is one that is super, super crazy. But this one actually uh, is around a $27 game, but it has no manual. So let's knock it down. Let's just say conservatively, you know, around 23 to 25 bucks. It does need a resurface on the disc, but still pretty good deal at eight bucks a piece. And the fact that we traded in Blu-rays that we paid pennies on the dollar for made this a really good trade. So happy to do that. I also want you guys to just take a look at how much clothing is cleaned and ready to be photographed. You guys need to yell at me in the comments uh, to get this stuff listed. I really, really, really need to do so. Uh, this stuff up here is sort of the death pile-ish. Um, it does have some stuff that I have been in progress of listing. There's some stuff that actually, this stuff needs to go to a garage sale. It's a bunch of like little McDonald's toys and stuff like that. Uh, there's just a couple little random, as I drop stuff, miscellaneous things floating around up here. But this is pretty much the death pile. But over here, we got to sort through. This is the sorting area right now. And this area, we'll, we'll just see in a second. Y'all, I done worked up a little sweat over that. Not really. <laughs> but uh, yeah, guys, you know, I just wanted to uh, show the reality of how your death pile looks sometimes. Uh, it got a little crazy, definitely, uh, with our wedding and everything and us planning basically the entire thing. So a lot got, you know, mistreated down here. But we're back to, uh, you know, we're looking good. We have a donate box. That's all trash. That actually just came in from my car from today's video. Yes, we're filming this in reverse. So yeah, there you go. There you have it. It's mostly organized. We're going to keep working though. That dark space over there is for another video. We're going to get to it. It's going to be beautiful in the end. Trust me, guys. But without further ado, let's get to that beautiful Ben's footage. Y'all, it's Thursday morning and it's cold. It's freaking cold outside, y'all. Uh, but we're here early Again, we're doing good about being early and getting a good spot in line so we can get the goodies right off the rip. Let's go get in line. They don't have all the media bins out right now, so we're kind of just in limbo here, kind of hunting for scraps. Uh, hopefully they bring out more. That would be nice. Sealed set, why not? I'm trying to get like this guy, okay? I'm trying to get like him. I've decided to shift gears into books. Um, we're just not finding very much. Uh, they still haven't brought out any more bins. There should be bins right here, but there's not. I always go back and forth on Shrek stuff, but this is a full Blu-ray set. The, uh, the slipcover is a little roached, but eh, definitely take a look. It should be maybe 10 bucks. Well, this is screaming my childhood right here. Also copped a little ZZ Top album. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good trade-in stuff right there. 
they're finally starting to bring out new bins but i have not been scoring they've just been full of books mostly um and i really haven't maybe this one maybe this one for fba did get a home loan two book this is like the second time in a row i've gotten one all right they're coming out with a new bin let's go I just picked up uh, Doom 3 in this last bin, uh, Resurrection of Evil. I don't really know if this uh, big box PC game is worth much, but kind of cool. It is an expansion pack, so we'll see. All right, I just have a menagerie of CDs now. Uh, I did find, oh, where did it go? I found uh, Limp Biscuit, Sublime, ZZ Top, Backstreet Boys. This is, this, okay. At very minimum, I feel like we got something worth while uh something worth trading anyway i know we have some cds that are worth trading so that's good uh did pick up alabama's christmas album right there at the end i got guild wars big box i can never remember if the guild wars uh big box is worth anything but you know what we're gonna double check just to make my brain happy let's start scanning a lot of books today this is definitely one of those rare instances where I'm going to pick something up for FBM, fulfilled by merchant, instead of sending it into Amazon to be sold. Um, if, you know, the only reason I am doing this, if we do sell at FBM, we can get a grand total of $18.12 in our pocket, minus the cost of the book, of course. However, the Amazon is $12.41. So I'm going to go ahead and just keep this on the shelf until it sells. It has a pretty high ranking of, what was it? it has a pretty high ranking of 928,000. So again, it's gonna take a while to sell, but it's a pretty small book, very light. So it won't take much space, take up much space. So this would be good for FDM in the long run. Also shout out to uh, Eric and his dad. They gave me these Hamtaro. I don't know how to pronounce this very well, but they gave me these two VHS. Zesty gave the thumbs up approval on these two. So we're gonna go ahead and take those and yeah we're looking pretty good mark also shout out to him gave me this tupperware that needs a lot of candy it is really gross but it has a little insert in there which is really neat you don't find that very often so pretty happy about that our doom 3 is in pretty decent shape everything is there uh disc manual all that good stuff the cardboard insert only around a 15 dollar bill but we'll go ahead and take it considering how kind of crappy this day is turning out to be Okay, I got to shout out Eric again. He gave us this Back to the Future 25th Anniversary Trilogy full set thing. This will be good for Amazon once we get unlocked to sell DVDs. Uh, I think it was like around $12 FBA, around 16 to 17 FBM. Also, somebody came by and gave him a bunch of cases that were empty. And you know me, guys, I always pick these uh, these things up, especially if they're just iconic, you know, titles like this. Uh, we got Luigi's Mansion and Mario Kart 7. Uh, these will be anywhere from like 7 to 10 bucks with the manuals and cases. Um, they're just easy to list, easy to ship, all that good stuff. So happy to have those. Also some cases for case swapping. Uh, one book for FBM. So pretty small freaking haul today guys uh we did take the doom we got a calvin and Hobbes book we always sell those in the booth one cd for trade let's see what else we got here we got the steve martin album we've sold this before i think on ebay but i think we're gonna try to sell this one in the booth uh, about an eight to ten dollar bill on that and i just talked about this so we're good there we got the two Hamtaros, again, um, Zesty gave the thumb up on these, so we're definitely gonna take them, probably put them in the booth or something of that nature. Got the Alabama Christmas record here and our very, very dirty Tupperware. So very small haul today. We might go by the GMC, what's cooking over there, but I doubt it. Sometimes I lie to you guys and I lie to myself. Uh, I'm out here going through people's throwbacks. I'm like, hmm, can I take some of this? This one's stained. There was some Aramark, Aramark, Aramark uh, coveralls or overalls that were kind of eh, whatever. Just trying to go through the scraps, guys. Trying to find a gem because this is a sad little haul. It's very sad. There's got to be something wrong with these, right, guys? Nobody leaves, nobody leaves Hoka's. Nobody leaves Hoka's, all right? Let's, let's do the bent test on these. Uh, 
Okay, somebody threw back some hokas. Uh, obviously, we'll need to like kind of shore up these little threads that are poking out, which is not a big deal. Obviously, the bottoms do need a little bit of scrubbing, but I, that doesn't bother me one bit. Otherwise, these look like they're in pretty good shape. Let's go ahead and look up comps on these. These are the Hot Para. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Probably not. We're going to look these up together, guys. So there's 10 listed under pre-owned. 30 sold. So 300% sell-through rate. 69 with 11. These are the exact pair. 45 on a bid with 13. Uh, 100 best offer accepted. 84 free shipping. 71. That, that's similar with free shipping. Okay. Okay. You know what? This is this is why, guys. This is why you guys go through people's throwbacks. Uh, this is easily the most valuable item of the day. I mean, we just have a bunch of like five to ten dollar bills in here. We just got like a probably I, I want to say conservatively these are going to be fifty bucks at the end of the day. Randomly going through the GM over here, I mean very, very casually, and I see this Freestyle Libre 14-day sensor thing. I do notice that it does take micro USB as the charging source, which means we don't have to find a cable. We have many micro USB cables at home. I did find the sensor by itself for $60 free shipping. Um, I have also found the kit for $99. That was brand new. But again, the kit doesn't seem like it has a lot to it. It has a couple instruction manuals, the box, a cable, and, a, and an AC adapter. Like, we can we can get those things at home um, and make them up. And then, you know, somebody can just look up the manual online or however it may be. So, if this thing turns on, which I'm assuming it's brand new because it still has a plastic on there, this could be a $60 bill just sitting at the bottom of a bin. So, uh, again, guys, check what people are passing up and throwing back. Good, uh, good lesson for the day. 70 cents in books, $9.54 in bulk goods, guys. Feeling great. I mean, 10 bucks, even two of the $5 items will cover everything in there. I have to say, I used to be one of those people that would be like, all right, I got to grab, 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 get out of here as fast as I can. And sometimes, guys, it does pay to linger around, especially if your bins do what our bins does and only does two rotations. So it's important to make the most of each rotation. Uh, that's also just a lesson in and of itself. You know, I used to be a guy that didn't ever want to do clothes. And now that I know what clothing brands to grab, even if they're bread and butter, I can still make money being here and picking up stuff that people don't pick up or miss or whatever it may be. I mean, we got almost a hundred dollars worth of stuff right there at the end. And that just made our whole day that much better. If you guys want to see more content just like this, hit that sub button down below. Like the video if you like the video. I'd really appreciate it. Costs you nothing to do. But until then, guys, we will see you later on the next grab.